Welcome to our language learning corner. Today we are delving into the captivating world of English phrasal verbs. Get ready to expand your vocabulary and enhance your communication skills with our focus on phrasal verbs with of. From everyday conversation to professional settings, mastering phrasal verbs adds depth and fluency to your language proficiency. Join us as we dissect essential phrasal verbs each with its unique application. The very first one is think of. It means to remember or consider something. For example, can you think of a solution to this problem? Next is get rid of. It means to eliminate or dispose of something. Example is I need to get rid of all these old clothes. Another one is take care of. It means to look after or attend to someone or something. For example, she takes care of her sick grandmother. Next is make fun of. It means to mock or tease someone. For example, it's not nice to make fun of others. Another one is dream of. Dream of means to have aspirations or desires for something. For example, she dreams of traveling the whole world someday. Next is be proud of. It means to feel satisfaction or pleasure in someone or something. For example, she is proud of her daughter's achievements. Next is take advantage of. It means to make use of an opportunity or situation. For example, he took advantage of the holiday sales to buy a new television. Next is get tired of. It means to become bored or fed up with something. For example, I have got tired of eating the same food every day. Next is be aware of. It means to realize or understand the existence or nature of something. For example, she wasn't aware of the impact her words had on him. Be afraid of. It means to feel fear towards something. For example, she was afraid of spiders. Next is be fond of. It means to have an affection for someone or something. For example, he is fond of playing the guitar in his spare time. Next is make use of. It has amazing meaning. It means to utilize or employ something for a purpose. For example, we should make use of this opportunity to learn. And last but not the least is get out of. It means to exit a place or a situation. For example, she got out of the car and walked toward the house. So that was all. Thank you for tuning into our exploration of phrasal verbs with off. We hope you found this journey enlightening and empowering for your language journey. Don't forget to subscribe for more language learning content and let us know in the comments which phrasal verb resonated with you the most. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning and keep mastering the beauty of language.